Hi, this is Ty. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this striking glowing effect in Photoshop. If you haven't seen this previous video, I recommend watching it first. The link is in the description. First, place the image you want to add the glow effect to onto your Photoshop canvas. Use a selection tool to select only the part you want to make glow. Then press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows to duplicate that part into a new layer. Next, go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the icon to add a new adjustment layer. Choose Solid Color. For the color, select White. White works best for creating a glowing light effect. Now, right-click the Color Fill layer and select Create Clipping Mask, or hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click between the two layers. This will make sure the color only applies to the glowing part. Then, we're going to adjust how this white layer looks to make the glow more striking. Double-click the right side of the solid color layer to open the layer style window. At the bottom, find the section called Blend If. Blend If lets you control which brightness levels are shown or hidden in the layer. Under the section called Underlying Layer, move the black slider to the right. This will gradually allow the darker parts of the layer below to show through. You can also adjust the white slider on the left side to let the brightest parts of the layer below appear, bringing back more detail and blending between the layers. If the transition looks too harsh, hold the Option key and drag one side of the slider to split it. This gives you a smoother and more natural looking fade. By adjusting Blend If, you turn a simple color fill into an impressive glowing highlight. At this point, take your time and adjust the sliders however you like to match the look you're going for. Next, let's make the bright areas even stronger. Go to the Select menu and choose Color Range. Use the eyedropper tool to select a highlight from the screen. You can move the sliders below to control how much of the brightness is included in the selection. I'll leave mine around here for now. Make sure the first image layer you placed is selected. Press Command and J or Control and J to duplicate just the selected highlight areas. Then, bring the newly created layer to the top. Right-click the new layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Then change the blend mode to screen or linear dodge add. This will make the light much more intense. To enhance the glow, go to the filter menu, choose blur, and then Gaussian blur. Adjust the radius value to control how far the light spreads. The higher the number, the softer and wider the glow. Add a layer mask to this layer so you can control exactly where the glow appears. Use the brush tool to tan on the mask. Painting with black will hide parts of the glow. Painting with white will bring it back. Now, let's create the effect of light softly glowing around the object. Use the lasso tool or any selection tool to roughly select around the object. Then, with that selection active, add a new adjustment layer for brightness and contrast. Increase the brightness slightly to simulate the glow spilling outward. The layer will come with a mask, so select the mask and go to the Properties panel. Increase the feather value to make the edge of the brightness blend smoothly into the background. This helps the light look more atmospheric and soft. To finish, refine the glow using the mask, select the layer mask, and use the brush tool again. Set your brush to soft and lower the opacity if needed. Painting with black will reduce the glow in specific spots. Painting with white will let you add more glow where you want it. This gives you full control to shape the light and balance the look. By adding or removing light where needed, you can fine-tune your design and bring it closer to your vision. From here, feel free to take creative control. You can add a gradient map like this to enhance the mood, or use the filter gallery to achieve a cool, stylized finish. If you'd like to learn more about these techniques, I've added a link to the full video in the description. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.